Ginger from my sister Scrapper. I have another mini album I want to share with you today. This is um, a mini album that I used to create a little baby boy mini album. I had purchased the We Are Memory Keepers Baby Mind collection, the little 6x6 paper pad, and it actually comes with the boy papers and the girl papers all in one paper pad. So with the little girl papers, I made a little vertical uh, toilet paper roll mini album and I shared that on an earlier video. So with the little boy papers, I decided to do the um, a one page binding technique that I had learned from Elsa at Just A Few Designs and um, I'll provide the link to that tutorial uh, on my blog. So if you want to find that tutorial. So it's really simple. The fabulous thing about it is um, you can, you only really need three page units because, and this has got three pages and as you can see, it's really thick. So um, this paper's darling. What I did on the boy papers, I did buy the uh, chipboard embellishments. I go with the boy line. So on the front cover, I used some Bow Bunny Double Dot paper to cover my chipboard. What I did is I covered my chipboard in white cardstock and then I matted it with the Bow Bunny Double Dot paper. I added a strip of the design paper here and I did a scallop edge. These three little brown buttons are from Pebbles. And um, this is a little chipboard piece from the collection. Same with the diaper pin and the words baby boy also. On the binding, what I did is I used the cinch to bind it and I have the largest uh, O wires that are available. And it's still really fat. Um, I used one of the chipboard pieces and bounded it on some cardstock from the design paper. Trimmed around it and put an eyelet in there and I hung that as a charm. It's as cute as a button. And I did that with the other one as well. Snips and snails and puppy dog tails. I put some little ribbon trim on the front. Just a few because it is a little boy album. Um, I have some gold and some blue and some green bow bunny double dot ribbon. So the way the pages worked, you open it up here. And on the inside front cover, I did make a little pocket here. And I used my Cricut to cut out some little uh, shaped tags. This is a baby bottle. Uh, really, it is a baby bottle. <laughs> and then this is one of the actual the die cuts from the paper collection. I just thought it was darling. And the fact that it says stinking cute on there is like fabulous. So, um, but the only thing I didn't like about the little tag uh, is they have all their little advertising on the back. It says we are memory keepers and it has a little UPC scan code. And I'm thinking, okay, well that was silly. So I covered that up with a piece of the uh, Bow Bunny double dot paper and I put that on some um, dimensional so that way it wouldn't because it's kind of embossed on the front here so again some more chipboard pieces from the design paper so that's the inside front cover um, on the front section what I did was I had purchased the 12 by 12 sheet of the boy paper that had the individual calendars on it so I have the whole I cut them up into the, the full 12 months for the whole year so this can be actually a baby boy's first year account um, brag book so I have a, on the first page, you have a little pocket here in the front, and I used my Martha Stewart double, um, double dot, I think it's double, no, optic dot uh, edge punch for this. And you have a pocket here, and this is a little rattle that I cut out on my Cricut. This is one of the month cards that I cut out from the design paper, and then I put some um, solid papers on the back, so that way you can put um, for the month of March, Whenever the baby's born, you can put that month's picture on the back. So I thought that was a cute idea. So you have a pocket there, and then you have this flips open, and you have a place for a photo here, and you can do some photo or journaling here. You have another pocket here, and on these tags, I cut them out on my Cricut as well. And then this flips up, and you have a place for a really nice photo here. And then uh, this is another chipboard piece that I put here. You have another pocket here, and inside this pocket, I have um, two more of the calendar sheets with the design papers for photo mats on the back. So you can put the baby's picture for the month of January and the month of February on there. And then you also get another pocket back here in the very back. So a place for another photo. So that just goes in there. So that's just the front of the first page. And then you flip it over. On the opposite side, you have the same thing. I have a little die cut of a onesie that I cut for my Cricut. Here's the month of April's calendar here and a photo opportunity on the back. 
So there's a pocket here, and you could put a picture here if you wanted, or maybe some journaling. Again, this flips out like this, and you have a place for photo and photo, and your tag is in here. And this flips up, and you have a place for a photo here and a photo here, and then you have a large tag back here as well. So that is just, in essence, that is one page right there. So that's why really there's only three pages, but we get all this room for stuff in one page. So that's why you have only three pages. So on the second page, I cut again another shaped tag and I cut this one um, in the shape of a teddy bear. I thought you could cut like um, a picture out. We'll do some journaling here um, with a circle punch or something. Here's the month of July. This paper is really cute. And again, it flips open like this. There's a tag here. All the tags are the same. I used three colors. I used the gold, the blue, and I think I used the green uh, double dot bow bunny paper. And this flips up. And you have another little chipboard piece from the collection, the little train I thought was darling. I have a couple more of the calendar pages here, May and June. So let's go back in there. And again, there is a place for a photo right here. So that closes down there. And I got those just exactly so they fit. <laughs> Flip it over and you have the same on this side. Again, I have another little rattle and the calendar for August right here. And this flips open, photo and photo, and here's the blue tag. So that goes in there like that. And then you flip this up and you have a place for a photo and a photo, and here's the other tag. It goes back here. So that's the second page. And then on the third page, again, I have the um, little teddy bear tag. I have the month of November. In here. And those just fit in there too. This uh, mini is really, really fun to make. Um, it, in the tutorial, she shows you to how to do it with just the double-sided papers, which works really great, but you're, you have to make sure that your um, design on both sides is not uh, one way, directionally one way. It needs to be like an all-over all design. Otherwise, when you flip it and you fold it, you'll have stuff upside down and so. I didn't have any of those papers, so I used solid white cardstock, and I had used, I bought the six by six paper, so. This flips open like this, and again, here is your photo map right here. And you can put a photo here, and I thought this was darling, the little chipboard baby feet right here. Two more of the calendars, September and October, and for another photo map right here. And this flips over, and you have another onesie like this. I did put this one on backwards, but it doesn't matter. It still flips open. It's the same page, but I really should have had it the other way to be consistent. But, oh well, there's no mistakes in scrapbooking, right? Just creative opportunities for more embellishments. Um, another photo mat here and a photo mat there. And here's the tag for this one. And I used, on to cut these tags, I used the two different baby cartridges. I used New Arrival and I used um, Baby Steps, Cricut cartridges. Flip it open and you have a place for a photo here and a photo here. And there's your other photo mat tag. And that's the back inside cover. There's another little chipboard piece that says, oh boy. And that's it. And there's the back. And I did put a little chip board corner photo corner right here so that's my little mini album oh actually this piece of paper here is actually not from the collection I was short a piece of paper so I dug to my stash and found this yellow plaid so that's my little mini album using the 12 by 12 uh, one page creation that has its own self binding which is quite fabulous so you can use your cinch or your bind it all or you can use your copper dial and punch holes but it works great because it gives you half an inch for binding there you have it.
Thanks for watching. Bye.